Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over Donna Missile's second album called Lighter. So she had um, a first, her first album was called um, ta uh, This Time, and I didn't really get to the whole, I didn't get into it, I had to go back and wa um, listen to it. But I came across her because somebody was just talking about her on YouTube and just saying how much, like, they, like, so we're, I was watching a video of, uh, like, new artists and, like, people that you should watch out for, and this person uploaded this, so I watched it, and she was one of the people that they showed, and she was listening to, and she was, um, singing live, Keep Lying, and I was like, wow, that's some powerful vocal, so I looked her up, looked at the song, I even liked the song even more on studio direction, and I thought it was really nice, so I was like, okay, cool, and I kind of, like, let it go after that, and then she came, started releasing singles for the next album, which is this one, and she did uh, Hurt By You. And I listened to Hurt By You, and I really, really, really liked it. That was so, so great, so heartfelt, so intense, and and definitely on top topics on it, topics about breakup and also um, relationships in a weird way that it doesn't really, it's, a, it's more in depth, but also, also not in the same depth as much people talk about. So in this album, it's pretty much her doing even more like, detailed about this, I'm assuming it's her personal relationship, it must be her personal relationship in some way, because it's just, it's very detailed. So, the, the direct, uh, producer of this album is Andrew Wells, he actually has done a couple things for a couple people, um, he, um, did a good job on this, it sounds nice, I think that one issue I did have with it is that there was some repetitive sounds, um, Lyrics, not lyrics, um, subject matters that were kind of the same. Like, for example, I felt like Let let You Let Me Down so ex was pretty much the same thing as, um, uh, what was the other one? Um, Hurt By You, Carefully, I felt like those, like, or Carefully and um, Let You Down was kind of the same type of thing, subject. Um, all going around the fact that she, oh, I didn't realize my camera There we go. Um, that she was hurt by this person, and they pretty much just made it the whole situation harder by um, kind of moving her to make her think it's one way when it's really the other way. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go through this album, talk about pieces that I liked. So how I f um, the first song, how does it feel? It took me a minute to kind of break down exactly how I f like what it was about. I felt like it. I came to terms with the fact that it is about being free for the first time and falling in love with something more truer. I think that's what she's saying. I think she's talking to herself pretty much because we kind of bounce around in a narrative of when, of, there's not chronological, there's no chronological order in this, which is cool because I get to kind of dissect it in my own way. Um, but this one is pretty much talking about how she, I think, is her, the aftermath of everything. It's just like, how does it feel to be free? How does it feel to be out of the relationship? How it feels to... I guess she fell in love with somebody else later on, and she's like, how does it feel to actually be truly in love? This is what love actually looks like, instead of what you were in before, kind of thing. Um, Hurt By You is one of my favorite songs off of it. I love, 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 love it. It's pretty much talking about a girl who leaves the relationship for her own sake um, be before the relationship got worse, wor more, like, more worse than it already is. And it seems like she's the only one that feels that, feels that way, because he's definitely been in a complete asshole to her. Because she, even after a relationship, he's trying to hunt her down, he's trying to see how much she changed, but he's just like, meh, it's not the, it doesn't affect me as much when I'm not around you. One of the things she says is that, I'm in love with what we were, but not with you. I think that's kind of very in-depth of what she's pretty much trying to say to this person. Um, she loved what we, what we were, where it was good, but when it started to get kind of crazy, I think she lost the love in that, in that spot. Uh, Carefully was my other songs I really liked. She, this one's pretty much talking about how she can't seem to give over those mistakes that went over, and this is, once again, not in chronological order, so this is happening in the relationship. So in the, inside the relationship, apparently, he's done some, some shitty things, at, but she still can't seem to get over them. So, in the same time, she says in the same breath, like, I can't seem to get over it, it's a mess, but at the same time, she still wants it, she's still there, and he's still there, so I think the idea is, she's, he also, she's also said, I understand if you want to leave, 
And so, because with her back and forth kind of thing, she understands that. And one of the things she says is, our precious memories um, add salt to, to injury. And I think that she's so far out of, like, tr seeing it as a lovely, a loving relationship that she, even the good memories add, just add, make things worse. Um, best friend. This kind of goes away from that, the narrative of the relationship and talks about a friend who she isolated, that she didn't really, hasn't talked to in a long time. Um, and pretty much she said, um, it's about wanting her friend back, but knowing that they left in bad terms. So she kind of just like, kind of coming to terms with it. She's like, okay, you know what? It is what it is. I really, really wish I could talk to you, but I understand that we can't be in that situation. But it doesn't, at the same time, I don't really feel like she's, I think that she's prematurely kind of jumping in and saying, like, I know it's not going to happen. I know there's no chance, but she still wants it to happen. But I think that there's, because there's still, it seems like there's still a chance that she might get back with her friend. It says, I know that you can't admit that you want me back and you feel that, feel like shit, but that's just where we are. That's why I feel like she's saying, she's like, I feel like she, you also want me back too, but we feel this weird situation because it ended so badly that we don't want to, we don't know how to make the first move or how to just get over it and move on and be with each other after what happened. Um, so yeah, I really like that one. Um, slow motion was really nice. I love the part where she says, I don't, I won't head down that, that road. So I'm loosening up my hold. Promise that you'll uh, take care of yourself. So this is a further out. So this is after, this is like mid, like going, this is like relationships done. But she's talking about, the, or she's, it's like mid-breakup, but she's also talking about him because she still cares for him. So she's like, I hope you take care of yourself. And she ends it with the whole, if you love something, let it go kind of thing, which just took me a while to actually understand what that meant. I had to look it up because I knew, I've heard it all the time, but I never really stood, stood, stood like, back and, like, asked myself, like, what does that even mean? So, um, and I found out what it meant, and I just, I think it really goes on into that direction. Um... Everybody seems to like Let You Let Me Down, but I feel like it just sounds the same as the narrative as the other ones, like carefully and stuff like that, and, and slow motion, you know? Um, when she's taking responsibility for her own actions, she's like, I allowed you to have this happen to me. Um, but I feel like it's the same thing. Um, Bloom, I love Bloom. I think it's, it's another, it's another, it's another narrative-ish where she feels, it makes you think that maybe she also has a fault in her own, in the relationship as well. She says, I don't want to be the reason you're, you don't bloom. Mostly this is just Qatar, and she's, and she just doesn't want to hold him back from being his full on self. And I think that she sees that relation, the, the relationship that she's in is causing that. And so she's coming to terms with that. She's like, you know what? It's the same thing as that. You've loved something, let it go kind of thing. I think she's following that further as in like, I'm stepping back. Because I understand that you, there's a piece of you that hasn't sprouted out yet. Um, another one I really like is I'm Not Ready, which is a really beautiful, it's a really great song. Great ending to it. Is I feel like it's completely way after the relationship. So we're maybe like three months in or two months in, maybe even a month later. But after a relationship, so she's pretty much talking, she says, like, when I dive into another bed, I feel so empty inside, um, filling up. Uh, filling up on regret. So she's pretty much and she's pretty much saying she's not ready. She tried to kind of like do the one night stands with a couple people, like hook up with a couple, a couple people, but it turned into a bit of a mess. Like she doesn't, she still has some lingering feelings about the relation, the past relationship as well. So she doesn't really know how to, she how to do this without feeling some type of way. I think that she's saying, she's like, maybe I'm not ready yet to put my feet, put my foot out there to be vulnerable in this relation, in like new relationships or even like sexual like hookups and everything. Cause I think she can, she thinks she's still reeling with everything. So possibly, it possibly still that same month or maybe a month after or so. She's really working on trying to get to that point. All in all, I like this. This is, that's pretty much it. Um, the other songs were, I kind of thought were okay, just lingered on. Um, but I love the, I, I love the topics that she's bringing in. It feels like there's a storyline to this in some way. One thing I want to bring in is that, is carefully, one more time, is that I want to, this is a quote that I wanted to say, but it was a, pretty much a paragraph, but she says, the risk that you convinced me to take, save you, every, uh, 
gave you everything I had. Now what you expected me to say when you let me when you let me slip from your hands. And that's a careful that's carefully when she's pretty much saying just like it's just she don't think I don't think she wanted to be in a relationship. She wasn't sure about the relationship, so he sees but he was like kind of pushing it like please please just give it a risk. Just give it a try. Like I'm I'm a risk what we're in to take. So when it's when the risk actually turns out to be a risk and turn to be an actual mess, he's kind of so like, and so she's like, okay, well, I don't want this anymore. This is the risk happened to be an actual risk and it actually did not work out. And so, but he's still surprised over it. He's like, what? And he, and so she looks at him. He's like, what do you expect me to say when this, when shit gets crazy like this? Like, I'm definitely not saying for this kind of thing. So I thought that was a really interesting quote in that type of, in that specific song. Um, that's pretty much it. Leave a comment below, tell me what you thought. If you like this, if you like the album, didn't like the album, with your favorite, um, top songs from the album. Are you a huge fan? I'm kind of, I'm still new to her, so if you're, like, a big hardcore fan, I'd love you to, like, throw some fun facts at me below and whatever. Um, don't forget to hit the, um, subscribe button, like button, and also the notification so we can get more, so you can get more of my, um, videos. I give this album a 7 out of 10 because of those out parts that were kind of floppy. Um, but all in that, it's a really good, it's a, she is definitely on a rise to doing something and she has lyrics that really, really hit home. So she's on her way to something and I can't wait for more. Um, hope to see you guys all in the next, or the next video and be safe out there and all that jazz and I'll see you guys in the next video.